mental rehearsal. Have you ever heard of that? It's kind of like visualization. So I've been reading, not reading, I've been listening to this book called Evolve Your Brain by Joe Dispenza. And it's about rewiring your brain to break old habits and develop new healthy habits or habits that you want to have, not just falling back into your old comfortable habits that may not be you know, benefiting you very much. So what mental, re mental rehearsal is, so what he recommends is devoting one hour a day, a quiet time of the day, to mental rehearsal. So what is mental rehearsal? Well, it is like visualization, but well, it's basically the same as visualization. I think. I'm no expert. If you want to know more, more scientific information, because this book is based on science, which I love, and also um, the author, Joe Dispenza's own experience using mental rehearsal to heal himself. So definitely it's a good book, but I'll warn you, the first like six or seven chapters are all about how the brain works and like synapses and how neurons function together, which is good. I mean, it's good to have a good understanding of how your brain operates, but it was kind of, there's a lot to listen to. <laughs> so I, I like to listen to audiobooks twice, but I didn't listen to the first seven chapters. I listened from chapter eight on twice. So but anyways, that's just me. I digress. So what is mental rehearsal? Well, the, it's based on like what, what, what cells fire together, wire together. So if you're thinking of, if you want to develop new habits and you're trying to get rid of old habits, you need to be doing a new routine. And so that those cells start firing together on what habits you want to develop. And they kind of, they, the cells don't die of your old, from your old habits if they don't start firing together but instead they will like migrate over to your new habits and help strengthen the new habit that you have formed okay it's kind of crazy but that's basically how it works so cells that fire together wire together and um it's essentially your brain doesn't know whether or not you're actually physically doing something or if you're thinking about it Right, so like there was an example in there where there was a study where people learned to play the piano and they, and they practice on a piano, like the same song over and over again, and they eventually learn the song. And the people that learned the song as well, the same, but practiced in their minds and not on a physical piano, learned the song just as well. So it still fires the same nerves in your brain, whether you're physically doing something or thinking about doing something. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, yeah, so he recommends one hour a day of mental rehearsal of what you want to, of a goal that you have or like how you want to be that maybe you don't like something about yourself now and how you would like to handle that situation. You visualize it, mental rehearse it, rehearse it first, and so that when it you need to act upon that in real life, like physically do it, you'll have the mind, like those cells will all, already be firing together and you'll make the correct choice, the choice that you want to make, not just the choice that you have been making and that is comfortable and that you just kind of fall into. So I, I have a problem with visualization. Not a problem, but I'm just not great at it. So I'm just making sure no one is coming here. All right, I couldn't see around the corner. Just want to make sure no one was on this trail. We're good. So my issue is with visualization. I devote only 15 minutes of that as part of my morning routine, but those 15 minutes are not great. Like I usually either like my mind wanders and I get distracted and I can't pull it back and I like quit it early or I fall asleep. So basically the two things that happened, I seldomly actually visualize like what I want in life. It always just ends up being, like I said, my mind wanders or I fall asleep and then my timer goes off and that's that. I go about my morning routine without really having visualized. So 
So fitting in an hour to visualize and or to mental rehearse, it's going to be a challenge. So, and he also recommends that you educate yourself on the behaviors that you want to develop. So for me, the main behavior that I want to develop is to be, become more physically fit. I have, I'm just not fit. <laughs> I've gained a ton of weight. I mean, the pants that I'm wearing right now, well, you can't see them, but the pants I'm wearing right now, like don't even button up. So I like, have them covered with like my coat. Like I've gained a ton of weight. I am eating. So my problem, my issue is I, I eat like sweets, like cookies and stuff when I'm bored or sad or lonely or basically any excuse if I'm by myself somewhere and I can just grab a bag of cookies and eat them you know I, I easily do that so I want to become more physically fit and in order to do that I've so I've I've read this book called The Easy Way with Alan Carr on how to break on sugar addiction or how to conquer sugar I can't remember what exactly it's called but and so that gave some good helpful advice on how to stop um, like not craving sugar but like why you should like good scientific resources on why you should quit sugar why it's not good for you which honestly I knew that but because I've been on this sugar I'm trying to get over sugar for a long period of time now I know it's not good for me and I don't kid myself into thinking that it is so even since reading that book I haven't really I mean, I haven't bought any bags of cookies and eaten them, but I haven't eaten as healthy as I would like. So in my visualization, I'm going visual to visualize myself um, like making healthy choices when I'm alone, when I'm stressed out, when I'm sad, when I'm bored, instead of reaching for those processed sugary garbage foods, I want to either like maybe go for a run exercise instead or eat an apple or whole foods. I want to, I want to concentrate on eating whole foods. So my mental rehearsal might look like basically you kind of ask yourself at the beginning, like, what would it be like if I, for me, I'd be like, what if I, what would it be like if I made healthy choices or if I ate just whole foods or if I, if I exercised regularly, if I hiked um, two times a week or, you know, like things like that. If I, just make better choices. So you kind of get in the mindset of what would it look like if you know you're doing the things that you wanted to do, and then you visualize it. You think about it. You actually put yourself in those situations, like um, like lunches. You have you know like carrots and hummus and stuff like that. You know like healthy foods. And um, when you're like driving, like mine, if I'm driving in my car by myself, then I'm eating an apple instead of you know a box of cookies and things like that. So. Um, so that's kind of how mental rehearsal goes. So the, the theory, like the thoughts, what you're thinking about eating healthy and like exercising regularly will just become more of an automatic thing over time. And you made it clear, like it's not one and done. You need to keep at this mental rehearsal every day, like an hour every single day. So that is going to be a challenge. and. So I'm not setting myself up for failure. I'm starting to do this um, on Christmas holidays when I don't have to get out the door at a certain time. I don't have to get the kids ready. I can wake up earlier because I'm going to need to wake up earlier and get used to doing that. And then um, start my mental rehearsal in the mornings and see how it goes. But how do you visualize? Do you, I, are you good at visualization and mental rehearsals and whatnot? It's, um, any tips? or advice that you may have to get started and to stop your mind from wandering. I know you're supposed to like pull it back and just think about whatever you want to concentrate on, but I seem to have issues with that. So but any, any type of constructive criticism or advice on visualization, if you are an all-star at it, would be great. Or even if you just started doing it and you found something that works for you, please pass on the information. <laughs> I'm all ears. So, well, thanks for listening. And I uh, you can try try reading or listening to Evolve Your Brain by Joe Dispenza. Super interesting. Google him. He's all over uh, Facebook at, or like Reels and TikTok. And he's really interesting backstory. So 
give it a Google, um, research for yourself, see if it's something that you might want to try. And yeah, if you like this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you tomorrow.